Hey, what's up? So today is Thursday, the 25th of August. It's day nine of my small account challenge. So just to rewind, on the 15th of August, we started our small account challenge, which was $2,510. And the goal was to grow that to in excess of $10,000 in two and a half trading weeks, I mean, effectively 13 trading days. So we're halfway there, really. We've got uh, another four days, well, a little, bit, a little over halfway there. We've got four days left, so two thirds of the way there. Uh, four days left. We've got uh, a trading day tomorrow on Friday. We've got three days next week. Uh, we started today with just under eight thousand dollars in in equity position. So we've already grown from that two and a half thousand dollars, two thousand five hundred and ten to be precise, last Monday. And um, we've already grown it in the last week and a half to seven thousand nine hundred and fifty six dollars and sixty cents. So that's where we started our equity position today. So how, how have we done today? Uh, are we on track to uh, to hit that uh, that 10K mark? Well, we've got four trading days left. So if we, we, we'll break it out. We we should be able to, to, to achieve that. Uh, however, we've got to be hitting goal. Today, we didn't hit goal. That's the downside. But we did have a green day. The green day we had, we hit. $339.60. That's the trade profit. Uh, we will finish the day after um, that's, that, was, that was two transactions, so two tickets plus ECM, FINRA fees, transaction charges, etc. Uh, so we'll finish about a little over $330 in net profit. So not a bad trading day by any stretch of the imagination off an $8,000 account. However, we're tasking, I've given myself the goal of, of hitting 10% daily in order to grow the account aggressively to hit that $10,000 level before the end of August. So based on the fact that we effectively had $8,000 in equity position today, we really wanted an $800, an $800 day. It's not the end of the world. We're, we're a little off half of 50% of goal today, but a great, any good green day is a good day. It's a good day because we're green. And as long as we're actually profitable, that's you know a, a positive spin. So tomorrow we'll be starting uh, the position by 8,300, which leaves us about 1,700 to do in four trading days. So if we work that out, that works out about $425 a day. So given that we'll have over $8,000, the goal will be 800 a day, we should, we're should we more than on track to uh, uh, to, to achieve that $10,000 goal. We should be you know closer to 12 or, or, or 15,000, but 10,000 is, is the first goal. If we can get to 10,000 tomorrow, great. And we get a $1,700 day tomorrow on the small account. It's possible, it depends. We need the, we need the movers. And that's really what was missing today. We missed the movers today. We missed the volatility. There was no volatility today. So how do we make the money? Well, we traded one stock. It was a IPO, an IPO from, from today, open trading today. And we watched it's the only IPO today. There's a number of IPOs tomorrow, but it was the only IPO that we had today. And I traded it on the large account first. Uh, I was able to because it was the only IPO, it was on my watch list anyway, and it, it opened, sold off, bounced, did this kind of ranging sideways thing uh, from, from $4. Then it started to move up. It really started to motor up, and I was watching it. So because I was aware of this being an IPO, I had it on the, uh, on the screen, the, uh, the watch list screen. So I was watching it, and it started to move up. I was able to get in for, for the break of, uh, of the half dollar, 450. That was on my main account. And I rolled that up to the top. It did pull back, and that's when I looked to get in on the small account. So as we made new highs here on the small account, uh, we entered and we rolled it up and we got a 30 cent move. We got a little over a thousand because there was no leverage position on this, unfortunately. Uh, so we couldn't take bigger size, and it was only after I pulled the trigger that did I did I realize this. So I went in for for max position, well, say max position, ninety percent buying power, and it gave us a little over a thousand shares. We got a thirty cent move, 
and as soon as we got the 30 set move we we got out so one ticket for the entry one ticket for the exit and we got 339 dollars on the single move not a bad trade very quick trade i then switched over and started trading the same same stock on my because it was very volatile uh started trading the same stock again on my um uh, on my main account so yeah not a not not a bad not a bad day by anything but not a great day because we didn't hit achieve goal so where does that put us so let's take a look at the statistics shall we let's uh, take a look to uh, trade of you so this is trade of you this is the journal of the uh, online journal that i use to log all my trades and, uh, and review them this is august as you can see we started here uh on the 15th of august we had $2,510 and we were able to make $400 on that first day uh, we made $400 on the second day and we had a good we had a red day on the Thursday but since then we've had you know some really good days so uh, Friday last week was a good day we traded Revlon for the, for the majority part of, uh, of, of this uh, then on Monday we had a, a, an excellent day uh, and uh, small day on Tuesday another big day uh, yesterday three times the uh, three times the goal so today to be you know slightly behind on the goal on the day it's not a big big thing in the, in the grand scheme of uh, of the challenge so in terms of what we're looking for in the challenge because we started with two and a half thousand we were looking to make ten thousand dollars of profit so we're six thousand nearly six and a half thousand dollars worth of profit my trade accuracy in terms of uh, you know selection my accuracy is really high 70 78 percent and the, the win versus loss is is very good in my favor as well so the, the PL curve is, is great we're more than on track to uh, to, to, to grow it to ten thousand dollars but we're also more than on track to you know get ten thousand dollars of, of growth profit that's essentially where we are on this particular challenge so We'll be back at it tomorrow. I think one thing that I, I do want to state is is not to force your trades. Today was a, a very difficult market to trade in. It was very choppy sideways, not a lot of volatility in terms of individual stock volatility. So it was difficult for stock selection to trade. Even on my main account, I, was, I only traded two stocks, and one of them was this IPO. So patience can often be a really underrated skill to uh, to and, and discipline to have uh, and just waiting for the right setup is key particularly for a small account because you don't want to be taking too many trades you'll rack up the commissions that will eat into your small gains that you're going to be making on a small account so it's uh, a, a all or nothing trade is, is usually best when you can't take big size and you can't take significant uh, significant share size so i'll be back at it tomorrow I'll be doing it all again 90 minutes before the market opens we start streaming and we'll of course be trading for the full two and a half hours 90 minutes before the market opens the first hour of uh, of, of the open market and uh, we were looking to let's say get 850 dollars on this account tomorrow that's the goal if we can get over a thousand dollars even better but 850 dollars is the uh, is going to be the target for tomorrow come join me tomorrow and see if we're able to achieve it I hope to see you there. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your evening.